20 years ago, if I were to ask a group of kids what their favorite energy drink was, they would probably look at me like I'm crazy. Today, if I were to ask a group of kids what their favorite energy drink was, they could probably tell me their favorite brand and flavor. This should be very concerning. Since being brought to the U.S. in 1997, the energy drink business has exploded and beca has become one of the fastest growing and most popular markets in America, especially among children and adolescents. The drinks are extremely dangerous and needs to be regulated by the government. As a country, we need to put an age limit on energy drinks. Red Bull was first introduced to California in 1997. It was popular among sports enthusiasts and college kids. The first Red Bull commercial aired in 2001, depicting a cartoon man walking along a, break, a blank screen when suddenly a bird, a bird begins flying above him. The bird then proceeds to relieve himself on the man. The man reaches into his briefcase, pulls out a can of Red Bull, chugs the entire thing, throws the can on the ground, grows wings, flies above the bird, and unzips his pants, and I think we know the rest. This is where the slogan, Red Bull, Red Bull Gives You Wings, was born. Red Bull used a cartoon to appeal to the innocence of children and teenagers. As kids, we want to do what is considered cool to fit in with the norms of society. This cartoon was intended to give young people the opportunity to live vicariously through this character, who defeated his opponent by relieving himself on it. The man rose up to victory. As kids, this is all we want in life. The fact that the energy drink commercial was aimed to the appeal of children is very concerning, but also led to the pathway for companies to come. According to Jennifer Harris and Kristen Munsell, Energy drinks are sold next to alcohol in convenience stores, suggesting that the two are interchangeable and should be consumed together. This is extremely da dangerous, and it is very bad that they are readily available like that to, um, to people because everyone has fake IDs now. So it's like they can, they can get it easily. They have access to it easily, and it implies it encourages impulse purchases. Adding substances such as drugs and alcohol can lead to very, very bad and potentially dangerous situations and even deadly. It can also lead to addiction, which is de detrimental to ev everybody, especially those with developing brains and bodies. The ingredients in energy drinks are enough to make someone not want to drink them at all. According to Rachel Lohman, writer for the article for the American Academy of Pediatrics, kids between the ages of 12 and 18 should not consume more than 100 milligrams of caffeine per day. This is very bad considering that there is 160 milligrams of caffeine in a 16 fluid ounce can of energy drink, of any energy drink brand, and I bet they vary between brands. It is even more scary when studies show that 83% of teens consume these drinks regularly and 96% consume them often. This makes adolescents the fastest growing population of caffeine drinkers in the U.S. This is not okay. Aside from containing unhealthy amounts of caffeine, energy drinks are also filled with many other energy boosting ingredients such as B vitamins, Jen said green tea extracts and taurine. Before this paper, I did not know what they contained, so I did some research. An eight ounce monster energy drink contains a handful of B vitamins and amino acids, which can be potentially beneficial for boosting energy, depending on the quality and authenticity of these, of these substances. But since they're in energy drinks, they're often manipulated and changed around a lot so they don't have beneficial properties at all and oftentimes they are put in the drinks just to just to look good but they don't actually do anything for everybody while I was conducting research I came across an article stating that South Carolina is looking South Carolina is the first state to make laws requiring or they're looking 
I'm just gonna keep going. They are looking to make laws requiring individuals above to be at least 18 to purchase energy drinks. In 2017, a 16 year old student from Spring Hill High School in Lexington County died from due to cardiac arrest induced by drinking um, energy drinks and too much coffee. The kid had no pre-existing health issues. In an interview, his father said, it wasn't a car crash that took my son's life. Instead, it was an energy drink. Parents, please talk to your kids about these energy drinks. And teenagers and students, please stop buying them. If this law was passed, South Carolina would be the first state in the U.S. to have laws against selling energy drinks to minors. <laughs> this would be the first time that South Carolina did anything first since joining the Confederacy. Hopefully, once South Carolina passes the bill, if they ever do, other states will follow behind them. As a society, we need to start being more conscious about what we are what is going into our bodies of young people. The solution has to start somewhere. All of us can have an impact on this matter. Stop buying energy drinks. And if you have kids, stop allowing your kids to consume these drinks because they are very detrimental to the health of them. Thank you.